guys, welcome back to Jessup Sellers. Uh, today we're just going to give you a quick word on decanting. Uh, we're doing this specifically because we're releasing our 2008 vintage. And you know, in the last several years, 2006, 2007, 2008, were all really spectacular growing seasons for the Napa Valley as a whole. Uh, but 2008, uh, compared to those other two years, has a little higher acidity across the board. There are wines that are geared for usually a little more ageability, uh, but probably not quite as easy drinking in their youth as 2007, which, for example, came out of the gate screaming. Those wines were just great as soon as they were released. So 2008 has a lot of potential, but you have to kind of unlock it. And so we're going to give you a quick word on decanting and then what the benefits you know, that that sort of provides. Um, so um, what I've got for you here is our 2008 Jewel, which is one of the biggest wines that we make. And this is a wine that definitely will benefit from a little time in the decanter. So here at Jessup, if you come into a tasting with us, you'll find us always pouring through these, which are little aerators. It's called the Nuance Wine Finer and Aerator, and those bring a little oxygen into the wine as we pour. Um, the same thing as decanting, aerating, just leaving wine in the glass, or if you put wine in your mouth and actually kind of slurp a little bit and almost percolate a little oxygen through, you're doing the same thing at every stage. You're introducing more oxygen to the wine, and the same oxygen that at one point will finally turn the wine to vinegar at a young stage in the game really lets the wine breathe and allows the wine to express itself. The aromas and the flavors sort of emerge. Um, the one caveat to that is if you have wine that's been properly aged, if you're dealing with wine that's maybe seven to ten years old, you might want to avoid aerating and decanting because you might bring a little too much oxygen into the wine. You know, those wines are probably ready to go right out of the bottle. But when you have wine like the Oi Vintage that's a little on the young side, every little bit of oxygen will allow that wine to kind of unlock and, and be more expressive for you. So I'm going to use the aerator in this wine. See, this little guy brings oxygen in through a downspout and sort of percolates as you pour out of it into the decanter. You actually hear this thing working and it's bubbling as it goes and so you're, again you're just exposing more surface area wine to oxygen. You can almost think of this as flash aging the wine. Again if your wine has been properly aged you probably don't need this but if you're like the vast majority of consumers out there you're drinking wine on the young side like you know I certainly do that. I get the wine home and I want to taste it right then and there. And so all these different methods are a good tool for uh, allowing a wine to express itself at a younger age. So once you have it in your decanter, go ahead and give it a good swirl, let it open up a touch. You know, these ones are great. This guy has a little holder and actually a roll on the table, which is always kind of fun. Okay. So what we're doing here is just allowing the wine to open up and breathe. Now, a good rule of thumb is 45 minutes to a little over an hour in the decanter as a starting point. I've had wines that were decanted for 72 hours before tasting. Uh, those were wines that were really geared for long, long time ageability. Here at Jessup, a good 45 minutes to an hour is pretty much all you're ever going to need to open these wines up. So give it a try. I really recommend opening the bottle, giving it a little sip, taste, see what it's doing, then give it time in the decanter, or just, if you don't have a decanter, pour it in the glass and let it sit open in the glass for a little bit of time. And, uh, and then taste it at the half hour mark and at the hour mark and see how it opens up. And then make your own determination and find out when you like it best. So um, give it a try, you know, take it home, experiment and see what you like. A little time in the decanter will really uh, you know, benefit you greatly. I think you'll be impressed with the results, especially as we're coming up on the holidays where you're going to be spending time in the kitchen cooking. Give yourself some time. You know, As you start to do your cooking for the holidays, open up some bottles, put them in decanter, let them mellow out, and taste them and see what they do. Okay, Experiment, and we, uh, we can't wait to see you back here in the tasting room. Cheers. Thanks.